Hey, hi there, you guys, Aries. Welcome to your general forecast. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. Today, you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one oracle card from the Ask Your Guides. You're going to get an answer from this coin, yes or no. So remember to ask a question, and you're also going to get some charms from my charm box. Lots of charms in here, so I'll pull a few of these and we'll see what comes out. There's letters as well. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Two of Pentacles, Aries, Earth Energy. This is Jupiter in Capricorn. It's the lower echo of the Wheel of Fortune. It's the card of I Build. It's changes, multitasking, juggling. It's the ability to juggle two situations at one time and achieve success. It's skillful manipulation. This is going with the flow and handling the ups and downs of life. Handling friendships, relationships, partnerships, any kind of ships. These can be uncharted seas. You could be in for a bumpy ride. It might make you feel unstable. This can be two situations, going with the ebb and flow and managing your life with grace. This can also be time management, a balancing act. You could be establishing the pros and cons of a situation and being resourceful and flexible and adaptable. This is someone that's accommodating and willing to please. This is a shift in life's focus. New facts and results come to the foreground and they present you with a new perspective. You may need to follow the money, or travel, or even move house to take advantage of material opportunities. Your concentration is required. This has to do with material concerns and being incredibly busy. And when your life undergoes change, it's normal to have some insecurity and temporary upsets. You might be feeling unsure of yourself. You need and you do find new results. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Aries. The Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy. This is Capricorn Energies. Capricorn could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is holding on and being defensive and being in your comfort zone. Being cautious, stable, conserving, trying to save, trying to protect your money and your boundaries. This could be a fixed attitude that would limit and block new opportunities. In this position, you may be letting go. You could be divesting or sharing something and releasing what has been clutched or hoarded. Someone even may be losing ground. This can also be the miser that becomes generous. Emotionally, this person may give more of themselves to others. And in terms of structures, they may become less rigid. The Two of Pentacles or the Four of Pentacles is investing in your stability. It's investing in your business. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Aries. Number three of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Empress. This could be a Taurus or a Libra. This is ruled by the planet Venus. This has to do with material abundance, fertility, fruitfulness. This can be someone mothering or nurturing like a mother. It can have and actually be an actual mother. This is also one of the marriage cards, and it's fertility for would-be parents. It's an opening to pleasure. It's passion and sensual involvement with the world. 
This could be someone showing motherly concern for another. And there's natural growth. There's sexuality and creative impulses and generative energies. This can be a health improvement. This is a feminine, divine feminine empowering card. This is someone that questions none of the decisions that they make. They're an authority in the same way that the emperor is the masculine authority card, and they have the right to rule. This is the wisdom of a woman who has gained it through worldly experiences, and powerful creative energies are at hand. There's self-discipline and self-control. This can be the birth of a new idea or a creative project, or, or the, even the birth of a child. But this is both financial and emotional support. Two of Pentacles with the Empress card is supplementing income by working at home. Here's your fourth card. It's the card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Aries, you've got number zero of the major arcana, the fool. This can be you. That means that you're in control. It can also be an Aquarius. This is the first of the major arcana of the 22 cards that show hidden meanings, karmic lessons, and major life themes. This is a new path. It's innocence and lightness and trust. A choice is offered. This can be travel. This is an entrance, but you're not there yet. It's a beginning. It's innocence and trusting life and a blind leap of faith. It's having absolute faith in the universe. And it's taking steps and taking a risk with no preconceived perceptions. This can be a new and unexpected opportunity. It may appear out of nowhere. It's new and unknown and unfamiliar. It can even be a surprise. And now anything is possible, and there is unlimited potential. Someone may act on a whim, and they're taking life as it comes, enjoying the moment, simplifying. Now the fool can be rather impetuous, and they can act without thought or care. Someone may be making it up as they go, and they're facing the world carefree, and it's time for a brand new adventure. So use an open mind and stay open to surprises. You may find that a choice is offered. So try something new because this is a very important beginning and it is a time for action. The Two of Pentacles with the Fool card is a new communication. It's new, fresh, brilliant ideas that go back and forth. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this, Aries. The Ten of Cups, water energy. This is Mars in Pisces. Mars is your ruler. Mars always gives us that fighting spirit. This is a shared love and a positive bright sign. It's a happy family life. It's manifesting the feeling of home or a home. And it's lasting happiness and contentment because it's, it's inspired from above. This can be the best relationship you've ever experienced. It's long-term perfect human love, true love, and it could be better than you expected. It's a realization of what world really matters and it's happiness from knowing that family loves each other and remembering that home is where the heart is. The rainbow is symbolic of the connectedness with God, creation, and the fulfillment of great wishes. This can be the fulfillment of lifelong dreams, even a wedding. This card carries a rainbow of promise. It's the ultimate in happiness, and a lot of love is available both to give and receive. And the string of anxiety or bad luck about something is over, and with good results. This is where the saying comes from, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, happily ever after, as good as it gets, and perfect bliss. It's counting your blessings. It's a happy ending. 
It's feeling the bliss and a fairy tale experience. It's the ultimate dream vision and a pinnacle of happiness. And this can be a dreamy love. The Two of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups is being fulfilled with family. It's balancing decisions and priorities and adapting to changes. It's dreams coming true. It's fulfillment and inner happiness. The Four of Pentacles with the Empress card is someone that might be penny-pinching. This is someone that lives within their means. There's no debt and they're frugal and cautious and they may be keeping things to their self. They're set in their ways. And there's stability. The Four of Pentacles with the Fool card is new money and new investments. It's a, a wild, calculated business. Someone may be aimed at getting rich. The Four of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups is family security. It's investment in long-term happiness. The Empress with the Fool card can represent mother issues, someone having lots of exes as friends. It can also be mother and child. It can also represent pregnancy. Remember, only take the portions that resonate with you. The Empress with the Ten of Cups can represent a happy mother, emotional contentment at home. This could be your mom that loves doting on you. This is someone that loves you enough to see family in your eyes. The Fool with the Ten of Cups is a surprise new family situation, and it will turn out perfect. It's having faith in a new family beginning. It's innocence and new beginnings. It's free spirit and dreams coming true. And it's moving on to a new stage of happiness. And it's being ready to settle down. I'm going to give you your Ask Your Guides Oracle card message. Card number 24. Rest, Aries, from the Holy Spirit. Rest. Meditation, prayer, withdrawal, and with retreat. Our culturally perverse notion that doing, doing, doing is the correct use of time and that doing nothing is a complete waste of time has indeed made us a sick society. Your overwhelming desire to back off from this whirlwind of activity and take a break, even throw in the towel altogether, isn't crazy or unrealistic. It's a direct summons from the Holy Spirit to withdraw your attention from the outer world and reconnect with your soul. Your life is not to be frittered away in meaningless and unexamined activity. You came in with a purpose and a specific soul intentions that are being neglected. They're now knocking at the door of your attention, reminding you that you have commitments to keep. If you do not heed this call and begin to self-examine, you may even enter the dark night of the soul, a time where nothing feels meaningful. Listen to the Holy Spirit and open your heart to its direction. Take lots of time to be alone and get in touch with your soul. Write in a journal, seek counseling, and pray. Allow yourself to be in direct contact with the guiding wisdom of the Holy Spirit on a daily basis. Withdrawing from the world, whether through contemplation, meditation, or even a sabbatical, is the most powerful way to use your time right now. The Holy Spirit is guiding you in your quiet moments. Its message? Make time for yourself like that empress does. Okay, here's your charms. We'll start with the letters. You've got a P. You have an H. And you have a X. So maybe that has to do with one of your X's. You have a dream catcher. And at this time that we are supposed to be paying attention to our dreams because they're messages, especially the ones we remember really well. You have a horse. And you have an elephant. And now, here is your 
coin, remember, yes or no, get your question ready because here we go. Let's do it one more time. That wasn't a good spin. Uh, okay, and it is... No. That's what came out the first time also. No. Thanks, you guys, Aries. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. And if you like charms and you like the yes or no coin, let me know in the comments. Now remember... What goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.